a confusion of narrow alleyways. Stalls, spices and soups. They are what we know of Morocco. The theatre of the country on display on the streets of its most charismatic city, Marrakesh. Go beyond and there are epic mountain ranges, ancient cities and the sweeping Sahara. Morocco is the gateway to Africa. More than two and a half thousand hours of sunlight bake these sands every year. The Sahara spans 30% of this country, with clear blue skies above it, an unobstructed natural resource with powerful potential. Wow. An ocean of reflective mirrors glimmers in the desert. Four hours southeast of Marrakesh is Noor, the largest solar power plant of its kind in the world. Noor means light in Arabic. Morocco has very small oil and gas reserves. Most of its energy comes from imported fossil fuels. So this plant was built to help the country harness its own energy on a very grand and ambitious scale. So the big goal by 2030 is to reach 52% of our electricity production from renewable energy sources in Morocco. Tariq Bakuku is an engineer. He has worked on the project since 2014, when not a single panel was built. Now the solar technology here covers 3,000 hectares. Why did Morocco need to build this project? By, uh, by 2009, 2008, the, the price of, of oil was, was very high. We had plenty of resources uh, from renewable energy, sun, wind, uh, water. So uh, there was a strategy uh, to use uh, these sources of renewable energy in order to be able to, uh, to fulfill the demands of the country. But it is not just Morocco that NOR supplies. We are connected with uh, Algeria, with Spain, and uh, we'll be connected to Portugal very soon. How much has this project cost? I would say it's about uh, Three billion, uh, three billion dollars. We took uh, uh, some, uh, some, some risks considering uh, uh, the, the, the situation, but it was a, a very good ambition. Today, we are among the leaders. And it is NOR's innovative technology that is paving the way forward. Tammy F. Taub taught many of the scientists who work at the factory. He explained to me how the panels transform sunlight into energy. Donc, la vapeur qui va tourner elle-même une turbine, cette turbine va tourner elle-même un, un aimant ou bien tout simplement un, une génératrice d'électricité sous forme de passage des électrons qui vont être transportés via des lignes électriques vers le réseau national et le réseau international. He is excited by the capacity this plant has. Nord one. La Nord 1, c'est la plus grande station, c'est la plus grand champ des de, de Heliostat, la plus grande turbine euh, par rapport à d'autres euh, stations qui se trouvent à l'Espagne. C'est la, la plus grande. Ten minutes drive away from Nord is the town of Azazet. A small tourist trap that has relied heavily on the film industry. Big titles such as Gladiator and Game of Thrones have filmed here in some of the world's biggest studios. But the economic landscape has changed recently and people in the area are struggling to afford any power. Yes, it's expensive, yes. Nor's construction promised more jobs, better infrastructure and cheaper bills. They have yet to materialize for many. Aziz Laguan has taken matters into his own hands. 
the electricity here, we have to, to buy the, the solar plug by ourselves. Aziz runs his own hotel in the desert. Sunlight allows his business to function. He must have electricity for both his guests and his family. When he first opened, conditions were very difficult. At the beginning, uh, we was using just the candle. Then we thinking that's we have to. There is another solution, as we see in the television and everywhere, and with the government talking about no one and the energy solar, the clean uh, energy and everything. So for that, we tried to look for help from the government to get solar panel here in our project. And there is no way to get this help. So for that, after a few work, we buy a solar panel to have electricity. Aziz, what were you promised when Noor was built? Clean and cheaper electricity. But till now, nothing in the reality. They still pay in really expensive monthly the, the electricity. Morocco is coming to be the biggest country in the world that came making the production of clean energy with solar energy, but the population still not yet benefit from this. Morocco's people are waiting for Noor's promises to be delivered, five years after it was built. For some, electricity is still a luxury. And solar power is yet to make a significant impact on Morocco's energy use. The country continues to rely on imported oil and gas because right now Nor can only provide enough energy for 2 million people. That is a stark figure when over 35 million live here. Ambitions of fueling the world seem doubtful. The district of Uzazet, where Noor is based, is represented in parliament by Youssef Shiri. Do you think that Noor is delivering on its promises for the people of Uzazet, for the people of Morocco? I can see that this project is a project that 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 is a project الأولى في إفريقيا اللي مشات بالاستراتيجية دي الطاقات المتجددة نحو الأمام. Since 2016, in the last five years, people um, in this area have not seen the cleaner, cheaper electricity that they were promised. Nor's targets are very ambitious. Are you concerned that they won't reach them? Yes, of course. إحنا كل لتقة. في المشرفين على هذا المشروع بأنه يمكن يقدم لمدينة ورزازات إلى الأفضل وأنه تحركات المدينة تحرك الإقليم بفضل هذا المشروع هذا وبفضل استراتيجية ديال صاحب جلالة. Morocco's mega project is pioneering. It has made enormous technological advances with huge investment. Tangible results for those living here are yet to be felt, though. Success is not what most Moroccans see. But they believe they will. They are optimistic about their sustainable solutions for the future and believe in the power of the sun.